Cześć, witam Was w drugim już odcinku The Walking Dead. No i jesteśmy na farmie Herschela i sobie you teraz have musimy... Such pretty hair. It gets lots of tingles. Musimy teraz sobie ze wszystkimi pogadać. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just... just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. No, także dowiedzieliśmy się, że Katia jest weterynarzem. Teraz będziemy sobie pogadać z Kenem. Poza tym e, też drugą fajną postacią. Trzecią w sumie, bo jeszcze Clementine. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <coughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna faze us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. No, jak ja na twoim miejscu bym się tak nie cieszyła na szczepionki. No bo nigdzie nie było żadnych informacji o tym, że w ogóle zostaną takie stworzone, więc no. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Sean's still working on that fence. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> how you doing, Duck? Good! I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Żlepie niczego tam nie nie przekładaj, że nie wajki niczego. Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Huh? 
My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. No shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Well, How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the? Go! I'll get my gun! Wybieram jego. No, wiesz, bo. Biedna Klementa, ja nie chciałem to patrzeć. 
Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! No a wybrałam chłopca z prostego powodu, bo nawet jeżeli wybrałbym Shona, to Kenny i tak pomógłby temu swojemu... Tak by pomógł swojemu dziecku, a Sean i tak by nie przeżył, więc... No, a Herschel i tak by nas wyrzucił z farmy i potem tylko Kenny by miał do nas pretensje, że nie pomogliśmy wtedy jego synowi, a tak to przynajmniej... Ten widział, że się martwimy i że pomogliśmy i tak dalej, że to będzie miało przynajmniej w tym sensie dobre konsekwencje, well, co nie? This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! No We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. Then just go! Oh, you They've got that. kids, Lily. Mm. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need uh. to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. 
Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Oh, kurde. Jesus! Clementine! Man. No, Jinkuva. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger! That was stupid! That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! 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 What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills! Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Masakra, jakby to o mnie chodziło, to bym go nie ratowała. Nie warto w ogóle. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. 
You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of <laughs> cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> what are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find <laughs> some. Needs two. <laughs> Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment. When things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. What else can you do in such a situation? Well, in fact, it's not really my fault, because he just died so quickly. Mamy batony. Coś mam tu mieć. Z tego nie mam zamiaru rozmawiać, a jeszcze jeden baton. Znajdę tu gdzieś drugą baterię. O! Mam cię. Widzę jeszcze jednego batona. To idziemy od razu dać batona. It's not much, but here you go. 
Thank you. Of course. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure, uh, let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. No, I do. Think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, that's it. Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Ah, uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I can't reach that brick. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Mm. It's a combination lock. Mm -hmm. Let's head back that? inside. Okay. Ok, ale ja tutaj sobie zakończę ten odcinek. Jeżeli Wam się odcinek spodobał, to zachęcam do zostawienia łapki w górę, komentarza, subskrypcji, jeśli jeszcze tego nie robicie. I do następnego odcinka z tej serii. Mam nadzieję, że Wam się podoba. Dobra, trzymajcie się ciepło. Pa, pa.